In today's video, I'll be going over seven new ChatGPT plugins that you may not know exist, but allow you to be able to accelerate and expand what you can do with ChatGPT. So let's get started. The first plugin that we'll be taking a look at is the content rewriter plugin. So this is a plugin which allows you to enter any URL and have the text or content rewritten for you. So let's go ahead and find a URL in which we like to rewrite. So I've pasted in that URL and I'm going to ask it to rewrite this blog post so it's unique and it should use that plugin automatically and rewrite that article for us. So once it's loaded up, that's how you know that it's using that actual plugin. If not, then it's just using the regular chat GPT. So this is the original article, which talks about 20 passive income ideas for beginners in Canada. And as you can see, it's a very, very long in-depth article. And this is the rewritten article that we got back from chat GPT using the content rewriter. Um, we get the title, we get the intro, and we just get a breakdown of each and every one of those um, points in which they spoke about. So while it is not necessarily as long or as in-depth as the um, original article, you are able to get a nice summary. And then what you can do is you can then go ahead and expand this um, out by using ChatGPT. So you are able to get the essence of the article, but of course, you're not really able to get that depth um, and the length that you would like to have if you wanted to rewrite that article. The next plugin that we'll be taking a look at is Keyword Explorer. So this provides popular related keywords to amplify your content optimization. The problem that I've used is to do keyword research for this main keyword, how to become a YouTuber, and suggest related keywords, matching keywords, and include keyword volume and difficulty metrics. So again, we can see that the plugin is being used. So let's now give it some time to see the quality of the information that we're able to get back. So here is the output in which we were able to get back. Um, here are some related keywords to how to become a YouTuber along with their estimated search volume and difficulty. So number one, how to become a YouTuber as a kid and get paid. What is a YouTuber salary? How to become famous on YouTube overnight? And we get the search volume and difficulty metrics, um, but we don't really get an actual number. It just tells us. So the volume is medium or difficulty is high. And we get a couple of variations of keywords here in which we can use, or if you would like to rank for that keyword, how to become a YouTuber. So I like the variations of the keywords. I don't like that you don't actually get search volume metrics, but also it's hard to, to differentiate or to know if those search volume metrics are actually correct if you're not using an actual keyword research tool. So this could definitely be a useful plugin. You can use it to get some variations or some topical um, related keywords for your main keyword to help you do some high level keyword research and then pop that um, keywords into a keyword research tool to get more specific metrics. So not a bad plugin by any means. So if you guys want to go ahead and use that again, that is called the Keyword Explorer plugin on ChatGPT. Next up, we have Review Reader. So this allows you to compare countless Amazon reviews. All you need to do is input a product name or link for an instant AI summary. So again, this would be very useful if you are creating Amazon blog posts or if you're creating um, Amazon affiliate product comparisons, you can easily get reviews for products by using this plugin. So once you have that plugin enabled, let's head over to Amazon. We're going to copy over a URL here, and then we're going to ask the AI to summarize the reviews of this um, listing. And again, it should use that plugin. And here we go, we get the average rating, which is a 4.4. And here's a summary of the important points from the reviews. So comfort, sound quality, durability, value for money. And then we get a nice summary for this specific Amazon listing product. So this would be a very useful plugin. Again, if you are creating Amazon blog post, if you have an Amazon affiliate website in which you compare various um, different products or services, then you can definitely use this plugin to get you a nice overview of your product and you can paste that into um, your blog post. So very useful plugin. It's called Review Reader. Again, if you want to try that out for yourselves. And next up, we have Scraper. So Scraper allows you to scrape content from web pages by providing a URL. Now, there are a couple of various um, scraping tools on ChatGPT, but this one is fairly new. So I wanted to give it a try. So let's go ahead and paste in a URL. The prompt that I used was to scrape the most important information mentioned in this blog post, including the tone of voice, style of writing, target audience, reading level, and related topics for this article. So we can see here again, it's using Scraper. The blog post from owner provides a comprehensive list of passive income ideas that can help individuals diversify their income streams. The main points discussed in the article are, and they've listed out the main points. So the tone of voice of this article is informative and encouraging, aiming to inspire readers to explore these passive income ideas. Style of writing is straightforward and easy to understand. So with a plugin like this, you can use it for a variety of different reasons. 
whatever you want to scrape from a web page or URL, you can enter that prompt. And the tools do a fairly decent job at scraping that content. Um, it saves you a lot of time instead of you having to actually go ahead and read through all that content, you can use a plugin like this one. The next plugin that I wanted to give a try was WebDev. So this allows you to build a live website within seconds directly from the chat and preview and test HTML code with JavaScript and CSS. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Um, so we're going to try to build out a very simple website using this plugin. So that prompt didn't work. I think it's probably because it was a little bit too in-depth. So let's just ask it to create a simple one page website and see if we're able to get um, some output from that. This prompt did work and it was able to create a simple one page website as per our request. We can preview it here. As you can see, it's very, very simple. Um, I would like something a little bit more in depth. Um, I would like it to have more sections and things of that sort, um, because right now you can't really use that website. I would like something more along the lines of the first input, but maybe you need to do it step by step. Maybe you tell it to create a simple one page website, then add a secondary um, section. So let's go ahead and give that a try quickly to see if that works. So we were able to add a header with a placeholder for a video and a heading and we can preview that site here so we can see here it has that placeholder video and it has the welcome to our website heading so you are able to build sites using this plugin but you need to probably do it in a more sequential order or have a much more simpler prompt than the prompt in which i created so i'll be doing some more research on this and testing this out i'll probably do a full video using this plugin to create a website but this looks very promising because um if you don't have any experience with building websites you can definitely go ahead and use this plugin to help you um, get um, notes or CSS or whatever you need to do to build up a full website. So very cool app there. And I'll probably research it a little bit more and um, do a full review of it. Some other notable plugins are the QR generator. So this allows you to generate QR codes in seconds. Plugin PDO, which recommends plugins in the store based on your questions and introduce their usage. So this could be very useful because there's a lot of different plugins in ChatGPT and it can be difficult to find whichever plugin works best for you. So you can use that plugin and ask questions such as which plugin would be best suited for getting market insights on my niche and it will give you recommendations of plugins or which plugins would be best for booking a trip or whatever your use case may be. Instead of going through the full list on the plugin store, you can use this plugin. And again, it should tell you the plugins here. So Market Researcher, Finance Insights, Niche Explorer, and so on. So very useful plugin again there um, if you don't know exactly which plugin you're looking for. Another really cool plugin is a WordPress publisher. So this allows you to publish content directly to your WordPress blog. So if you create content with um, ChatGPT, you can go ahead and use this plugin. You need to connect your um, WordPress site. But once you do so, you'll be able to post your content directly to your blog. So that's a pretty cool um, plugin. It allows you to save some time and automatically post your content on your blog. Yay Forms is also another cool plugin which allows you to create AI powered form surveys, quizzes, or questionnaires um, using this plugin. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different plugins in which you can choose from for whatever your use case may be and whatever you're trying to get done on ChatGPT. Do note that you need to get the GPT-4 or the GPT Plus uh, membership in order to get access to plugins. But as you can see, every single day, they're adding new uh, and newer plugins on the plugin store. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.